week 15 of the fantasy football season and here's tight end starts it every matchup of week 15 first matchup 49ers at the Seahawks here George Kittle I know it's been an up and down season for the most part being down weeks here but versus Seattle defense I think he could prove some things here as George Kittle get back in the good gracious of fantasy owners and he's a tight end I think this week that goes out there and has a decent ball game he's a start not a Noah fan Noah fan had a couple decent games over the last few weeks and then last week putting in a goose egg versus the Carolina Panthers so that inconsistency and obviously non-production is definitely a factor why he's a sit this week and even if he gets the ball and has a good game he's just not consistent to do a week in a week out so Fantad is a sit and out to the Indianapolis Colts at the Minnesota Vikings so right here Joanie Woods he's been up and down this season here for this Indianapolis Colts team a couple games he looks good and then a few games he disappears and that's the inconsistency here with the Colts the only guy I really would want on my team right now at this point is Jonathan Taylor where everyone else has been hit or miss week in and week out and inconsistent and that has to do with the offensive line blocking and also obviously Matt Ryan being a turnover machine this season so Woods is a sit TJ Hawkinson he's been one of the better tight ends over the last few seasons in fantasy football and this week here I think he has a good ball game especially with Kirk Cousins who's been getting him the football so far since he's been here Ravens at the Cleveland Browns and right here both these tight ends are starts for me it's pretty straightforward and easy Mark Andrews I know was a bad game last week with the only four fantasy points but this week I think he bounces back no matter who the quarterback is in a big way and David Njoku last week a monster game with over 18 fantasy points so right here he's having the best year of his NFL career is David Njoku he's a big play guy in the middle of the field and he really could stretch the field here for this Cleveland Brown team and that's exactly what he did last week and now he's got a better thrower of the football with Deshaun Watson even though obviously he still has rust and has to get it off by got Njoku has a start this week now to the Cowboys at the Jacksonville Jaguars Dalton Schultz him and Dak Prescott have a great rapport he's one of the better tight ends this season in fantasy football as long as he's getting the football and making plays he'll crack that top 12 remainder of the season and this week here this is a weak defense in Jacksonville they don't really stop anyone so I got Schultz as a start and now Tevin Ingram had the best game I've probably seen out of a tight end in a very long time over 160 yards and three touchdowns here so Evan Ingram finished the day with over fantasy 40 fantasy points in week 14 and he's a guy that definitely hurt a lot of opposing owners and who had this high score of the week out of nowhere so him and Lawrence are building chemistry they're building a rapport and obviously he likes him but he's getting a pretty much main spot up to the Atlanta Falcons at the New Orleans Saints with Cole Pruitt I know he had a couple ball games where he found the end zone but besides that he hasn't done anything he's not really getting yards after catch he's just pretty much going out there getting a touchdown with six or seven yards and calling a day here's pro it which is fine in real life but in fantasy football the production's not going to stay like that now to the saints Jawan johnson it looks like could be back in this game one of andy dalton's favorite targets obviously here's Jawan johnson and this falcon team is top five and giving up fantasy points the tight ends on the season so I got Johnson as a surprising start maybe to some people even though we know he didn't miss a few games labels at the Chicago Bears Jack Stoll he hasn't done nothing filling in for Dallas Garden back over here after he's been injured over the last few weeks and for the Bears Cole Komet better home player than he is on the road and he's also a guy that knows his stuff here of the playbook of Chicago and could get open in the middle of the field there's a big target or red zone so Cole Komet I have as a start and they're going to be chasing points in this game versus the Eagles so someone's going to have to catch the football a little bit over there in Chicago and I think obviously Cole Komet in the mix with Chase Claypool as the top two receivers now to the Lions at the New York Jets Brock Wright he hasn't done much a couple games with a touchdown but no yards really so in the place of TJ Hawkinson so Brock Wright he's a non-factor hasn't done much he's a sit same with Tyler Conklin he had a couple decent games everyone ran out to the wire thinking he would do a lot of work at the tight end position and even me thinking it was a good investment but obviously it hasn't been this season here in Tyler Conklin he's been more of a blocker than a guy who's going out there and catching the football so this week he's a sit once again I know it's a good matchup on paper I know he could do something maybe 
but it's too risky, so I got him as a sit. Now to the Steelers at the Panthers here. Pat Firemuth, he's playing good football this season here. One of the main targets for this Pittsburgh Steelers team. And if Trubisky starts at quarterback, I think it helps this passing game a little bit more. So right now, Fairmuth to start. On the other hand, Tommy Trimble's a sit. We haven't seen much out of him this season. And right here, this Panther offense pretty much don't throw the football unless it's the DJ Moore. Christian McCaffrey when he was there, obviously, and now they pretty much got no one on this team in Carolina, experimenting with Hubbard and Deonta Foreman, but now to their side of things, Tommy Tremble, like I said, he hasn't done much, and he's a guy who would sit this week, no doubt about it, at the tight end position. Now to the Chiefs at the Houston Texans, Travis Kelsey, once again, the best tight end in fantasy football for another season in a row here, and this week, another easy matchup at the Texans here that this Chief team obviously can't overlook since the Cowboys almost lost to them but they're definitely a team to take serious and that's how they got to look at it Kansas City go in there blow the doors down get off to a good lead even though they did last week at 27 nothing I believe and blow it but anyway this week here times are different and I think offense is gonna roll obviously the next ball game it's at the Vegas Raiders Hunter Henry after the start 10 fantasy points in last week's game versus Arizona. And if Mac Jones wants to be more serious throwing the football and getting it out quicker, Hunter Henry's a good possession tight end and a guy who we've seen in the past have big seasons in with the Chargers teams. Now Darren Wall, if he comes back in this game, which he said he might for week 15, he was targeting. He's a borderline option. Wasn't doing much before he went under the knife. He was a borderline option to me. He hasn't played in nine, 10 weeks here for this Vegas Raider team. We know he's a big target. We know he was a tight end drafted early in fantasy drafts, but obviously it didn't work out. And he's a borderline option now. And now to force tomorrow if he's gonna be the backup and starter one way or the other on Bench and Morrow. They really don't look his way. He don't really get separation. And this Raider team's pretty much all about Devontae Adams and Josh Jacobs on the offense. And right here, Morrow is a sit this week for me. Now to the Cardinals. At the Denver Broncos, Trey McBride had a couple nice catches on Monday Night Football, but he's not a kid that's going to fetch money. So right here, he's a sit. And now, Broncos side of things, Greg Dolchik. It's been a couple good games and a couple ball games where he hasn't shown up. So now Brett Rifen might be the start of this week where Russell Bull seemed possibly concussion in last week's ball game and unlikely to play. And Greg Dolchik now will Rifen the quarterback. I don't I don't think to expect much out of him, obviously, here is Dolchik with Rifen and quarterback. So this week at best, he's a borderline option for me, but he still might crack my top 12. Now to the Titans at the Chargers, Chiguazam Okonku. He was a big pickup off the wire the past week here, and he had a good ball game with 15 fantasy points last week. This week here, a pretty decent matchup versus the Los Angeles Chargers. But I don't know if he's going to go out there and do it once again here as a Conwo versus Charger team. Right now, this offense is inconsistent besides Derrick Henry. Ryan Tannehill, he'll have some good games and then some games where he's just not doing anything here and not putting up fantasy points or having relevancy. But anyway, O'Connor was a borderline option. Austin Hooper, he's had a couple decent games this season, but obviously he's on the back burner, so he's a sit in this one. And now, Gerald Everett's a borderline option. Another guy inconsistent. And tight end's been a very frustrating position this season to deal with. So right here, he's a borderline option, Gerald Everett. I know two weeks ago, 13 fantasy points. And this week here, he comes down with only under five, five, six fantasy points is Gerald Everett. So that's annoying, obviously, for Roners. But anyway, he's borderline. Now to the Bucks, it was Kate Otten. He's a borderline option. He's a big target and a guy that Tom Brady really could use here and help this football team out. Their offense... It just has not looked good over the last few weeks here. Yeah, the Saints held them to the brink. Unless the miracle two drives by Tom Brady to bring them back and win. And then last week versus San Francisco. They got the doors blown off early and off in this Tampa Bay. Where Tom Brady was missing throws. He was under pressure. The offense was dropping balls as well. Not getting in sync. And anyway, k Otten though, I think could fix those problems. If they target him more and get him more involved as a guy who could be a matchup nightmare for linebackers but anyway this week in a decent matchup he's borderline and now Hayden Hurst and Mitchell Wilcox I have his sits in this game and Hayden Hurst we don't know if he's gonna play for sure in this one we gotta wait on more practice reports and Mitchell Wilcox filled in last week for Hurst and he was a non-factor and the real factor over there honestly Chase and T Higgins being 
two wide receivers that are probably in the top 15 this season here. So right here, Hurst and Wilcox are sits for me in this ball game versus Tampa Bay. Now to the Giants at the Commanders on Sunday Night Football. Daniel Bellinger, he's banged up. We don't know if he's going to play. And even if he does play, he's a sit for me. Backups a sit for me as well over there in New York. And they're just not generating anything over the last 10, 12 weeks at the tight end position is this giant team. So right here, Bellinger's a sit. He's going to be out in the Washington Commanders. Logan Thomas, I know he's had a couple decent games this season. But right now versus a pretty stout giant defense in terms of start, stopping the tight end. I don't think Logan Thomas could carve out a decent amount of number to be worthy of a start this week. And he's a tight end. I would sit in this ball game in Washington as well. The weather could be nasty. And who knows, it could even snow to definitely affect, obviously, the ball game. And now to the Rams, to pack his final game of the week. Tyler Higby's a sit. It's not really his fault. I know Baker Mayfield's probably in there quarterback now where maybe he could get Higby the ball a little bit but Tyler Higby the last month of the season really hasn't done anything for fantasy owners and once again in a big playoff spot for most owners this week where it starts I'm not going to trust Higby and he's a sit and now to the pack is Robert Tanyan's a sit last season he was decent the year before that was his best year I believe Robert Tanyan in the NFL and then this year had a couple decent games and has showed nothing for it over the last few weeks not doing anything is Robert Tanyan and in this one versus the Rams, it's a possibility he has a decent game, but I'm still not going to bank on it. And he's a sit, so that's week 15, start sits, tight end of the fantasy football season.